Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to do the recap for Old Hickory Lake. This was the fourth BFL in the Music City Division and um, we were currently sitting in 23rd in the points and the top 45 move on to the regional for a chance to qualify for the All-American. So, we're trying to catch some fish in this one. We're trying to move up in the standings so that we can be in good shape for the uh, Super Tournament. Practice for the Old Hickory Tournament was extremely tough. It was... Um, I expected a lot of fish to be on ledges, and I think there were. I just didn't really find the groups of them, and uh, I found a lot of fish, but they were a lot of short fish, and I kind of struggled with that. Uh, one of the guys we were staying with was catching a lot of fish too, so or he was catching a lot of fish, so it kind of was frustrating for me as well because he's talking about all these fish he's catching, and I was just I, I was struggling to catch. I was struggling to find these schools of bass on these ledges. The tournament rolled around. I just went to an area that uh, one of my buddies said, check out and um, there'd be a lot of, a lot of keepers and then I could run and, and go about my business fishing all this, all the uh, stuff that I had found in practice and hopefully get a big bite or two. So that was the plan. I pulled up on uh, the first spot where I was going to hopefully catch a limit out of this school of bass and um, they were biting pretty good. Caught a lot of my fish um, in order to get a reaction strike on deep crankbaits like the uh, 8XD from Strike King and also um, the ones that I actually weighed in in the tournament were on a uh, Rapala DT14 and uh, replaced those hooks with uh, fresh Gamagatsu round bin hooks in the uh, size 2. I usually replace my hooks before the tournament just just to be extra extra safe so you don't want to lose any fish that you don't have to. I threw I threw that deep diving crankbait on a uh, 10XD XD cranking rod and that's a uh, 7 foot 10 medium heavy rod and you're able to just really launch the the baits out there and um, and get a lot of distance on it and cover a lot of water doing that but um, I was throwing that with a uh, custom light uh, 7.5 to 1 gear ratio and really burning it and then just pausing it to uh, really get that reaction strike. Another bait that I was catching on was a uh, Carolina rig lizard and that's actually what I caught my biggest fish on. So in the afternoon I came back to the spot that I had started on after running a bunch of stuff and I, uh, I pulled into that area that had a lot of just keepers because my co-angler had four fish and I was like well we'll just go back and and try and get you one more. So pulled in there and I launched my Carolina rig over a point and uh, ended up catching a uh, five pound, 12 ouncer. And it was the second biggest bass of the tournament and uh, it really helped my, really helped upgrade my weight because I cold like a pound and a quarter, pound and a half or with one that was over five and a half. So for the hooks on those, I use a uh, offset shank worm hook. And I don't know if you can see that, but um, that's just what I've always thrown for those. It's a 5 aught 5 aught hook and uh, it works pretty good for what I'm doing. I throw that with a 1 ounce weight and uh, just drag it along and, and hope something bites it. So Another bait that was key for me was a uh, shaky head with like a screw lock and I, I threw a magnum trick worm on the back of those and I, I caught them on both the uh, green pumpkin with red flake and the plum colors of those magnum trick worms. So, same thing with the Carolina rig, just throw it out, drag it back in. And then one other bait that I threw um, was a uh, three quarter ounce black and blue football jig with a uh, Strike King Rage Crawl trailer on the back. And um, I was able to catch one of my keepers on that as well. But um, it kind of was weird. It's kind of like, seemed like you'd throw a bait into the schools and you would um, catch one or two real quick, whether it be a short or a keeper. After you catch one or two, they kind of get smart to it and you pick up a different bait and you catch two or three more. And then it was kind of like you just kind of went through a rotation until um, until you were able to um, basically were done catching those fish and then moved on to the next next area. But um, like I said, I got lucky in the afternoon. I came back to the area that I started in and um, I caught that real big one. Jumped me up to 13 pounds, six ounces and ended up finishing 10th place in the tournament. So after a horrible practice, I was able to um, end up with a top 10 and I couldn't have been happier. So if you like the videos, be sure to like and subscribe and um, we'll see you guys next time.